from 11 o'clock at night till six o'clock in the morning. It's gonna be three garlands, including this one, coming up next. So it's just past midnight and we finally got the van loaded with as many balloons as we could. We've been inflating for a little bit over an hour um, and it's time to head out while everybody else is sleeping. See you in a bit. Don't mind my face right now. It's 1.30 in the morning and it's pretty dark here. We just finished unloading and I came back for my tripod. So I can show you everything that we're doing. We're gonna start off with setting up the shimmer wall. Um, we like to use a photographer's backdrop and we zip tight the shimmer panels to the backdrop to hold it in place. Now you see those two pieces of wood in the background there. Um, I use those as additional support, just a contingency in case the backdrop cannot hold the weight of the balloons and the shimmer panels. Um, but we're, I'm gonna show you how we do that here in just a little bit. Now this box, I've, I've made this box out of styrofoam insulation that I bought from Home Depot and I also used duct tape, like the actual air conditioning duct tape. It makes it a lot easier for us to transport it instead of setting it up piece by piece. We have bigger panels um, that we transport and we use that uh, construction paper in between so they don't get tangled up. It's it really easy to put together. I didn't really think about how I was going to do it. I just started cutting the pieces and I made a box out of it really it's just like the most DIY thing you can think of anybody can do this but if you guys want more information on that let us know in the comments now even though we have these big panels already put together it still takes quite a bit of time for us to put the entire backdrop together it is now 2 in the morning and we just finished putting the wall up we're gonna start doing our balloons now these are the pieces of wood I was talking about earlier. There's two by fours cut in seven feet length. Um, and I've drilled one inch holes through them to run the zip ties through and, and make sure that I strap it onto the pipe as tight as I can. Again, these are just contingencies um, just to make sure that they can handle the weight. Um, I know that they can handle the weight because they've done so before. But you never know, sometimes these, these backdrops, after so many uses, they, they start to uh, lose their handle or, or they, they can't hold the weight as, as much as they did before. And I like to use this, again, as a contingency to make sure that they, you know, the backdrop doesn't drop in the middle of the event while we're not there or we're two hours away and we can't get back in time to fix it. And this is particularly helpful when we use the same exact backdrop with the two by fours and the zip ties on our green wall. We roll it up kind of like a carpet. We transport it that way and then we hang it up on this backdrop just the same way that we do with the shimmer. It's, and we use, I have another set of the two by fours painted in green, obviously just to, you know, match the color. But yeah, we use the exact same process to set up the, the grass wall. Now let's enjoy the time lapse of us putting the entire setup together. It is 3.44 a.m. and we're gonna start working on setup number two. It's very important to know 
um, how long something's going to take you and if you have access to the venue or the place where you're going to be setting up the night before um, like in this case there was a lot going on they're they're going to have that audio and video set up um, that we kind of showed you there a little bit they're going to set up tables they're going to do a whole bunch of, there's there's going to be a lot of people there doing their stuff too so their work too so uh, you need to be mindful of that and if you have access to it the night before in our case, we were only allowed in um, around midnight, so or just a little bit past midnight. Um, then we had to do, we had to go set up at that time. You need to understand that there's certain situations where you're not going to be able to set up the day of because the other trades are going to be in your way or you're going to be in their way, and it's just going to be more time consuming. So even in a, in a case like ours where we had to go in the night before, it was actually more feasible for us to do it that way. So this is it for number two. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. The time is now 5.45 and we just finished the last one. Are you tired? Nah. <laughs> we are very, very tired. So I just wanted to share something about this backdrop. So when you ever get this type of backdrop, there's nowhere to attach, right? So we use this clamp. And then a piece of 260 there to attach this piece. But um, for a much bigger piece here, we secured the top to the uh, to the pole of the drapes. And then there is a water balloon here that I pushed to the back. So because I have nowhere to attach it in this corner, I still could have done the the clamp but the waterway I think it works just really well in this case so there's a water weight hanging somewhere there in the back of the backdrop so it helps to prevent the backdrop to come forward and then there's small water weights here here it's a water weight there One very important thing that I wanted to share about this backdrop. So this backdrop is 10 feet wide and I personally don't like how it looks when you go all the way. So if your overall setup is going to be wider than taller, in my opinion, it doesn't look proportional. So what I do is I start um, from the middle and then to the right and then I kind of compensate the missing piece here. Uh, with a small chunk on the other side. So I hope that helps. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. guys, and we have one hour drive. So we, we <laughs> as in like she's gonna drive. Okay, we just finished, and Man, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. I know we make it look easy, but it's not. Let's jump to Sunday night. It's 8.30 p.m. It's been a long day for us. We had two other installations earlier that Sunday. We went back home for a few hours, spent some time with the kids, um, had dinner with them, and then drove down to Toronto again to tear these down. It did take a while to move everything over to the elevator, take it down to the first floor, load it up onto the van. Uh, but hey, we do what we got to do, and that's why we have a successful business. That's all for today, folks. Thank you for joining us. Again, 
Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already, click that notification bell to make sure that you're notified each time we upload a new video. Until next time, guys. Peace.